Okay, and go. Hi, I'm Adam Tonkin. I'm here today to talk about Essential, which, which is essentially trying to make uh, enterprise access to your GIS easier through the integration of ArcGIS Server and Model Office SharePoint Server. I'm going to very, very quickly go through a couple of examples and scenarios. One's a customer example, one's one we've created, to really highlight the benefits of this type of technology. But before I start, you can see a map of San Diego here. I'm going to ask my lovely assistant down here. Did I say lovely? I meant to say boss. Uh, take a photo of me, and hopefully if I don't get yanked off the stage beforehand, we'll come back to this page and see an image pop up and talk a bit about the applications of that type of technology. So the first scenario here is the utility we're working with in the Pacific Northwest on a smart grid implementation. So that involves, first of all, the deployment of uh, literally over a million smart meters to people's and businesses' homes to get better consumption information. And what we're showing here is taking all this data over time and seeing where there's been failures or problems with individual meters. So by area, I can see different areas where meters have failed. I can zoom right in and start to see the actual meter reading routes associated with those meters that are failing and start to uh, drill in and capture that data. I can go in and even further start to have a look at uh, where transformers are associated with those meters. I can switch this off and uh, have a look at the aerial view. We can say it looks like a, uh, a Palmer building down there that's having problems. And because we're storing all those literally millions of readings in a SQL Server OLAP data cube, very highly optimized for storage and retrieval, I can go back to the day's prior results. Still, we're seeing, still seeing quite a number of meters failing there. I can go back to the day prior to that again see uh, what sort of results we're getting. We can still see a little, slightly less, but still obviously a problem with that transformer down there. Looks like it's in a department building. So obviously some investigation needs to be done. So again, taking literally millions of records of business data, tying that together with ArcGIS Server for the geographic component, and rendering that on display very, very quickly. The second scenario I want to run through is essentially a, a tie together where we really see the value of Essential is bringing together uh, disparate organization's data in a single view, a single geospatial view, where they can start to see the impact one organization has on another in a way they might not have seen before. So in this map view, what we're actually seeing is vegetation-related outages, so trees falling on power lines, brushing on power lines, and seeing that overlaid with the progress of the vegetation management programs, so those tree trimming, uh, maintenance inspection programs that are really designed to try and minimize that. And here we can see it's obviously having an impact uh, down here in Manola, we're doing quite well in our vegetation management, we're not, and we're seeing the positive impact of that in a, in a reduced rate of tree-related outages. In Atlanta, not perhaps quite so much vegetation management, obviously seeing the impact there. In, I can, in the same view, I can also see my business data and statistics and cost related to that information, and I can drill down if I'm interested in seeing that next level down of information that perhaps contributing to my results. And what I can do is also tie not only the business data drill down or, or, or hierarchy, I can also tie that to a geospatial view. So in this case, I'm essentially viewing the same information, but in this case down to a, uh, apologies for the resolution there, but basically I can see that down at the distribution feeder level, so the actual power lines running on the streets, down to a level I can actually perhaps do something about it. So, so I can see here not much progression on our vegetation management there. So last part I want to talk about is this enterprise search capability in SharePoint. For those of you who have used SharePoint before, within the map here I'm just showing some simple GIS attribution, an image of a transformer, a facility on the map. What I'm going to initiate is what's called an enterprise search. And essentially enterprise search, for those of you who have used SharePoint before, you knew you could type in a name or a term and it would go search through an index list of documents. But now what we're able to do is start to crawl independent enterprise systems, whether they be databases, third party systems, or really giving enterprise access to this information. And through the map, we can navigate to different facilities or assets in the field, start to pull up related data, and whether they be video images, customers linked, again, without having to load that all into a single data store or do a massive migration, start to crawl out and do a Google-like search on information. So it looks like I've got a little bit of time here. We can see there's the image popped up. AT&T was cooperating today, although we're seeing no image. We'll wait till that pops up. I've got 40 seconds left for it to pop up. <laughs> so you can see this, 36, 35. <laughs> Have I got time to refresh the page? OK, so I'm going to blame it on the photographer. Um, but essentially what this is the application of this is for, for very quickly getting data when it works, back into the office very quickly for utilities that could be storm assessment when they capture very instantly with mainstream devices. For those of you who'd like to come around the booth and give it a crack, we'll give you the email address. We don't want to make it public. We'll get thousands of images up there. But basically, uh, very quickly use the mainstream devices to capture information in the field. Thanks very much.
Yay. That's really good. That's great. <laughs>